Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday evening. I'm going to do a Founders beer I haven't had thanks to Tony over at um, Mediocre Reviews and uh, Awesome Brews uh, Last Beer Trade. I'm going to get to try the Founders Breakfast Stout. Founders just um, came to our state just a couple months ago at the most. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those seasonals that, uh, that we don't get. Um, a little bit from the website, it says this coffee, the coffee lovers consummate beer, brewed with an abundance of flaked oats, bitter and imported chocolates, and Sumatra and Kona coffee. This stout has an intense, fresh roasted Java nose topped with a frothy cinnamon colored head that goes forever. Sounds like everything I uh, I want in a, in a, in a coffee stout. Um, comes in at 8.3% ABV, 60 IBUs, so let me get this in the glass and see what we have. I've really been looking forward to this. Pour it in my founder's glass that Tony sent me on our first beer trade. Oh, no, that's a nice, 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 nice looking stout. I'm going to get every drop of that. I'll pull a Peter Master of the Hoppets here. That. That's black. There's nothing, nothing through that at all. Nothing around the edges. There is absolutely nothing penetrating through that. Um, got a nice, slightly more than a finger of a really nice, um, all I can say is coffee colored head. Not, not dark, dark brown, but it's pretty brown. Definitely not mocha. But that's, a, that's the way a stout should look and wow. Good looking beer. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. But let me get a nose on it first. Oh wow. Yeah. Getting those roasted black coffee beans right up front. A little bitter dark chocolate. Maybe a little sweet cocoa espresso type uh, flavors in there. Maybe just a hint of vanilla. Wow. There's a, there's a lot going on. Um, caramel some caramel in there maybe just a hint of some almost granola like uh, roasted grains good smelling stout so I'm I'm gonna get this in the mouth as quick as possible here oh that's tasty you get the roasted malts right up front a little dark chocolate provides a little bitterness Definitely tasting the oats on this. I know there are oats in this too. That's the sweetness of the vanilla. Little faint cream. Roasted cocoa. The coffee flavors are powerful. They uh, they go right through every every inch of your mouth. Finish is a nice roasty smooth uh, uh, flavor that just lingers around very nicely getting that dark bitter chocolate that dark bitter coffee but just enough sweetness with the vanilla and the other flavors to, to offset that that bitterness getting the roasted oats the barley anyway uh, it's a full body this is thick as hell Makes for a thick and smooth, smooth and creamy mouthfeel. Hold on, here comes the train. Hey, that one was fairly quick, thank goodness. Um, wow, um, this is. Uh, I'm noticing there is some alcohol on the uh, on the nose now, but I you can taste the alcohol in this. Um, but the body and the flavor are so nice that it's just too damn good to to notice the alcohol really. But 8.3%, you can uh, you can you can feel the alcohol. You don't taste it so much, but you do feel it. This is a really really nice um, really nice stout. So let me sit and I'm gonna let this warm up for oh 15 minutes or so. Sit and sip on it, savor. And I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. 
Uh, okay, I'm back. It's probably been half an hour, so I've just been sipping on this, enjoying it. Uh, this is a darn good stout. Um, as it's warmed up, I notice it's become even slightly more bitter. What a uh, little uh, oat and vanilla sweetness you had there is pretty much gone. This is, and the the alcohol is uh, has really come out. Um, not so much on the nose, but on the, and not really on the taste, but just on the feel. You really notice the alcohol. Overall, I say this is still a pretty darn good beer. Um, I'm going to give it a, a good solid 9 out of 10. I um, hope someday to try the KBS or the CBS and uh, see how they compare. Um, like I said, um, there's just not quite enough sweetness there for my taste to balance the uh, the bitterness of the coffee and that uh, bitter like Baker's dark chocolate. But I mean, it's a darn good beer. Um, it's just my personal uh, preference. Um, if you see it, pick it up. You probably like it. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I dislike it. It got a nine out of ten, but uh, it's just not a ten. Not even, it might be in 9.25 if I did quarters, but I don't do quarters, so it's either 9 or 9.5. I want to give it a 9. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Keep drinking good beers. And, oh, and one more thing. Thanks to everybody who subscribed over the last two days. This has been just totally overwhelming. I had a little over 200 uh, subscribers a couple days ago. I'm over 500 now. This has been incredible. Thanks to people at Reddit, whoever posted that. And thanks to all who subscribed. It's really greatly appreciated. So, cheers to all of my new subscribers. Keep drinking those good beers.